Well, we're back on the slurry again now. So yeah, just thought we'd uh, pop this up and just show a little bit more in depth as to what the manure sensor can do, or more to the point, what it can show you. As you can see on the screen, we've got a flow rate up here. Um, that's telling us what's coming from the pump. We're on a close pump today on some thick stuff, so it's a little bit all over the place at the minute, So, but it'll give you a good idea. Working width, which is a 12 meter tram spread dribble bar. So going down to the nitty gritty stuff, as to what you can see, you've got a cubes per hectare, which on the dribble bar is a flow meter, which is calibrated, and then to the tractor through the manure sensor. So it knows exactly what's going through over in volume over the 12 meter distance. So then the manure sensor will then work its magic and tell you what's going through over that prescribed amount of manure. Flurry even. I'll show you how I do the turns just to uh, limit overspreading on the headlands so you're not uh, overdosing as best as you can anyway. Right, so on this system then, you can see that we're pumping well, depending on where it wants to set it really. And in that, you can see how it is altering the volume as well as the quantity of nitrogen as it's going through. So on this, on the volume, you can set your parameters as to what you want to apply. If you wanted to apply um, that set there at 62 cube, which is five and a half thousand gallon in old money. So I could put in there whatever I wanted and then you adjust your forward speed it gives you your target speed and what your actual speed is. Now with a Vario transmission, which will hopefully uh, be coming at some point, you can then link all this automatic system through the tractor, so as it would alter the speed of the tractor related to your target volume. So that would always stay within reason at 55. Just turn the mapping off for a second while I cross over. Mapping back on. And the auto steer. There we go, so you can set um, your parameters. I could have uh, nitrogen on there. So as if you said you wanted X amount of kilograms or units, you could set that one into that one and it would then do the same principle. Uh, it would only put on whatever you wanted out of your slurry. So you could be putting 100 kilograms of nitrogen on, but at whatever flow rate it could be 1,000, 3,000 gallons to the acre, depending on what your potency is. So you can um, set your nitrogen into your volume, and then you can only apply whatever you prescribe wanting on your field, along with your NPKs and your ammonium nit nitrogen is also sampled at the same time. So with a few sums and working out, you can work out what's being applied. Down here, You've got your average uh, field running totals. So every field will have uh, a dedicated map with its average application all over it. So if we go to this one. This map is just showing coverage for tracking at the moment, but on the on the map that comes from the tractor to the office, that will come colour coded with all different um, rates and individual colours for product. So then that can be entered in and then either more or less put wherever needed.
So with this system, you can probably see as everything is changing, how the slurry changes. Now we're pumping out of a uh, pit that's being stirred at the moment, but even with it being stirred, it's still not a consistent quality. So with the system, you can you can alter what's going on. So if you were to start at the start of a pit um, with just dirty water coming straight off the bottom, then that would analyse completely different and alter your application. One of the main advantages with uh, this system is the fact that you know exactly how much is going on your grass, nitrogen, compound, whereas before it's been a case of just generally just get rid of it, just lather the grass in it and then uh, it's forgotten about. Uh, but it's now becoming a, a resource that needs managing and applying properly. So now with, with this system you can now uh, apply your uh, granular fertiliser in a more controlled way. You know what your grass needs in order to grow before your first cut of silage or between cuts as to how the grass will take up the nitrogen and, and burn it out before you cut it. So instead of putting on your standard amount of uh, granular fertiliser as well as your slurry uh, you can save money, hopefully, by knowing what you put on in your fertiliser, in your slurry, sorry, and then by topping up with granular when it needs it, thus not wasting money and having too much nitrogen come back into the silage when you cut for, for, for your silage, which then increases the CO2 and the, the rotting effect of your silage in your pit. 